The following is a presentation of the Belly Up Sports Media Network. What is going on, you guys? I'm your host, Stacey Cole Morgan, and you are listening to the Morgan Man Sports Podcast here on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Good Pod HQ, wherever you find your preferred podcast. We are jumping right into the action, talking about the Atlanta Falcons 2023 schedule. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm recording this literally just 11 minutes after the rec- the release, I should say, of the Atlanta Falcons schedule. They did a funny TikTok kind of reel of the schedule release because all NFL teams do that sort of thing now. Not just TikTok, but kind of like funny little animations and shorts and, and just whatever it is to really get the fans hyped for this season and the Atlanta Falcons chose the TikTok route. So I really do like that scenario. So we are covering the preseason along with the regular season. So the preseason games, we were reduced to three and that was during the COVID pandemic. So we went from four to three. So that is fine. I do like that move anyway. So preseason game number one is the Miami Dolphins at Hard Rock Stadium. Preseason game Two and three will be at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Game number two will be against the Cincinnati Bengals. And game number three will be against the Pittsburgh Steelers. All those will be to be discussed. But, of course, everybody knows that will be in August around some time. Maybe like, kind of like second week of August, to be honest. And then that gives you that little transition of maybe like two or three weeks without football. And they were right in the action. So for the regular season, ladies and gentlemen, we got, uh, I'm going to say a really good schedule to start off with. Week one, we got the Carolina Panthers at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. So, of course, the starter will be Andy Dalton, as everybody should know by now, because Bryce Young is just, just a rookie quarterback, and he's not stepping in unless he just out duels Andy, Andy Reid, Andy Dalton in practice. But the Carolina Panthers, we get them. Very first game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. A lot of fans are very excited about that one. And, and rightfully so, because the Carolina Panthers, week one, is typically not a good series for them. And the Atlanta Falcons, the way we have built our team this offseason, this looks like an easy 1-0 to start off the season. Green Bay Packers at Mercedes-Benz Stadium the following Sunday will be week two. And guys, honestly, I do like this. Uh, we get to see the Jordan Love era happen right in front of our eyes in week two action. Uh, this could look like a 2-0 start already. And then one of our toughest Games will be coming up, ladies and gentlemen, and that's the Detroit Lions in week three. September 24th at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Detroit at Ford Field. Guys, the Detroit Lions are up and coming, and believe it or not, they were a solid defense and offense last season, scoring points, stopping the ball whenever it was necessary to stop. And this line seemed looks very scary with Jared Goff at the helm of it. So we'll have to wait and see kind of like what happens during that situation. The Jacksonville Jaguars at Wembley Stadium, week four action, October 1st, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, I believe it's still like 2 p.m. EST over the, or well, 2 p.m. for the London Territory. Um... So we get the Jacksonville Jaguars at Wembley Stadium. Jacksonville is definitely up and coming as well for the AFC South. Really intrigued to see what they do there. Then we don't get a bye. That is the one thing that I'm concerned about with the Atlanta Falcons is coming back from Wembley Stadium in London, different time zones, and having to face the Houston Texans in Week 5 action. But the Houston Texans definitely, it's... I'm not going to sit here and overly be confident and say that we're going to win this like 58 to nothing. But I will say this should be a game where the Falcons need to at least have two to three touchdown lead over the Texans. Then we get the Washington Commanders 
at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium week six action. And guys, I'm going to tell you, I'm really excited about that one because Taylor Heineke will definitely love to get a victory over his former team. That's my computer going off in the background. If you do hear any noise. And going into the, some of the away action, we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers hosting the Atlanta Falcons at Raymond James Stadium, October 22nd, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That should honestly be an easy dub right there because the Tampa Bay Buccaneers has just not been now the same without Tom Brady leaving. And there's really several the consequences from that one Super Bowl season. Uh, the Tennessee Titans will be hosting the Atlanta Falcons week eight at Nissan Stadium, October 29th for week eight action. The Minnesota Vikings will be visiting the Atlanta Falcons at Mercedes-Benz Stadium for week nine action. Then we head to State Farm Arena to face the Arizona Cardinals in week 10 action. We get a bye on week 11. So I do like that time frame right there. So that way you're kind of getting rested up for basically the tail half of the season, the last half of the season, I should say. And this is good because I hate an early buy. Like anything from. Because really, I believe it's where teams start getting buys on week five. Anything from week five all the way up to at least 10, that's way too early for me. And I know, you know, no one can help it because the NFL makes that decision. But if all costs is necessary, I would prefer my team honestly to have a later buy. So that way they're well rested. So coming out of the bye, ladies and gentlemen, the New Orleans Saints will be visiting the Atlanta Falcons at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Week 12 action. And guys, that's where we really need to win strong. Coming off our bye, division rival. You got to win this one. This is a must-win situation right here. This will be hate week all week long, and your boy here will be on Twitter making fun of the Saints all day long. <laughs> Then finally, we go up to MetLife Stadium to face the newly arranged arranged New York Jets that is led by none other than Aaron Rodgers himself in Week 13 action on December 3rd. Guys, this could be a situation where the Atlanta Falcons, if you're in a scenario that you're winning really good, this is a game that could Possibly, I'm not going to sit here and say like, you know, you're, you're going to start resting starters for Pete's sakes because still you got like five more games left, but you could at least ease off the playbook a little bit and kind of start strategizing like, all right, what am I going to do here and here in the playoffs and, you know, kind of incorporate some new ideas towards this tail half of the season, but if you're kind of in that mixture where the Falcons usually are, where they're still in the playoff picture, but they're kind of like one or two wins away from being just pretty much eliminated, you need to go full force. You really need to go full force and really win this game because your next few opponents is definitely going to be tough. Week 14 action, December 10th, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will head to Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Week 15, this is to be discussed, but we will be facing the Carolina Panthers. Week 16, we'll be facing the Indianapolis Colts in the final home game at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. uh, Christmas Eve at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in Week 16 action. And then finally, the last two road games. Week 17, we got the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field for the New Year's Eve game. And we got the New Orleans Saints to be discussed in week 18 action. Overall, guys, I'm looking at the schedule right here. Yes, we do have the easiest schedule, and that was based off stats from last year. So looking at it right now, I can easily say without without a shadow of a doubt that we could beat the Vegas odds of over and under, and I'm taking the over at 8.5. I'm going to sit here and say we're going to at least have a 10-win season, make the wild cards. That is my honest prediction. That is a more realistic prediction 
for the Atlanta Falcons moving forward. And again, under this new regime with Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot, you, you got you got good players, you got great coaches, and I don't see why we can't win 10, 10 or more games this season and sniff the playoffs. Because, hey, we need a Super Bowl in that trophy case. Yes, the two NFC Championship trophies that are sitting there, they look all nice and pretty, but we need that... We need that Super Bowl trophy in that case this year. And if that's the case, hey, I'm all up for it. I want my team to go all the way. And so should other Falcons fans. You know, I'm getting really tired of seeing the negative feedback that the Atlanta Falcons fan base does bring. Of saying, oh, it's just another 7-10 and 10 season right here. Because I'm pretty sure someone already on Twitter at 8.21 p.m. Eastern Standard Time of this recording saying oh yeah uh four and four and 16 something like that you know crazy numbers you know basically saying we're going to be the number one draft pick next year stop that if you're a true atlanta falcons fan you want your team to go all the way you really do you want them to win the super bowl you don't want them to tank any given season to have a better shot at a player next season no, that that's just that's just being wrong. That's that's doing the NFL backwards. If you're a fan base of the Atlanta Falcons or any given NFL team. So yeah, every year I'm gonna say, yeah, the Falcons are gonna go to the Super Bowl. Am I wrong? Yes, I'm wrong. But hey, I'm I'm a fan. I want them to go every season, win the Lombardi trophy, bring it back to Atlanta. And that that's gonna be the case one of these days. And this year, Mike could just be the year. But for a more realistic sense, guys, I do really see this Atlanta Falcons team being a playoff contender. Looking at the schedule right here, looking at all the changes that we've made to this defense this offseason, starting from Ryan Nielsen becoming our new defensive coordinator after Dean Pease retired. So, guys, again, record this. Mark it down saying the Atlanta Falcons, in my words, will be a 10 plus win team this 2023 24 NFL season. Hit the playoffs. So, guys, I sure hope you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like button wherever you are listening from iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Good Pod HQ. Guys, make sure you are also tuning into the Belly Up Sports product. We are posting content daily. Right there, and guys, let me tell you, the Bailey Ups product is up on the horizon, and you guys definitely need to check them out. But until then, all right, good morning. We'll catch you all later. Peace. Thank you for listening to this Belly Up Sports Podcast Network product. Some said we go belly up, so we made it our name, and we're still here. <laughs>